There's no doubt that iOS 11 is a fantastic update. There's a lot more features and I have to say, for me as a daily driver, this is a lot better. But there are some bigger disadvantages. And that's mainly that some of the older sensory apps that we use really aren't going to work. So if you haven't updated to iOS 11 and you use some of the following apps, don't update iOS 11 just yet. Let's see if the developers do actually update the apps. I'm not sure they will. React calls magic is one that I know. There you go. If you see that, that means it hasn't been updated. So the problem you're going to hit there is they're probably not going to do it now. Semantics. Again, semantics needs to be updated. Now, I've been in touch with the developers and they did get back to me and say that the online version, the PC version, all of those are still available and still there. So, uh, but there's no plans to update the iOS stuff at the moment. Philips Vital Signs is one that I used on courses. Needs to be updated. That's not going to work. What else have we got? Walking with Dinosaurs. That's a BBC app. And that's an augmented reality one, which needs to be updated. Pop Flux, that's another one which was always fantastic. That's not going to work, needs to be updated. Spacecraft 3D, that's from NASA. Hooray, that one works, so that is wonderful. Viri is the brilliant zoo app, which Carol Allen told me about. And this one is lovely, and that still works with iOS 11. So that's really good news. Other ones that I use a lot, Incredibox is the music one. That still works, no problem at all. <gasps> Playing with dolphins, hooray! Playing with dolphins does work. Sound Aller is one we use for a sound to light, and yes, that works great. Colorband is an amazing app, but unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore. That's an augmented reality app where you can play music in midair. I've actually saved an iPad on iOS 10 point whatever it was, just so I can use that app. Coaster Physics is one I use a lot and that's been updated. That's going to work absolutely fine. Flashlight, thank goodness Flashlight is still working. That's a great one for visual assessment. Sci-Fi, oh, needs to be updated. That was so popular as well. Looking at some of the more used visual apps, Comic Top is one I use a lot and yeah, that's been updated. Gravitarium, yay, that one's working okay. So that's good news. Soundbox and Sensory Lightbox. These are two amazingly good apps and thank goodness the developer, which we knew he would, he's updated those, so really pleased with that. Heatpad is a lovely one, just for getting some nice visual tracking going. And that one has been updated. Pixel Swarm, oh dear, that's not been updated, so that's a little bit upsetting. Most of the sensory apps, in fact, I think all of the sensory apps have been updated from this company, so that is really, really good news. Bubble Draw is one of those cause and effect apps, which is really nice, and thankfully that is working with iOS 11. H8 Ashbury, no, that's not working. Cosmic Top, yes, phew working. Some of the great simulator apps like Vision Sim here from the Braille Institute of America is not working anymore. Types of Vision, that's not working anymore. These were great apps that you could look at to see what it was like to have a visual impairment. Starkey Hearing Loss Simulator, hooray, that one is still working. Recognizer, that needs to be updated. That should be superseded fairly soon by Microsoft, by a wonderful Microsoft app called Microsoft. Oh, I've forgotten what it is, but it's not out in the UK. I was playing with it in New Zealand the other week, and that is a brilliant replacement for Recognizer. If you've got any of the Gaze apps, all the Gaze apps need updating. They haven't been done, which again is a real shame. Aquarium, that needs to be updated. Oh, Journey HD needs to be updated. There are so many apps here and it just makes you really angry when you've paid for these and they're simply not working. That isn't right at all. Inclusive, of course, I'm sure that they have updated their apps to work and of course, Inclusive Technology brilliantly have. Quick look at the music apps. Thumb Jam is okay. Matrix Music Pad is not working. Uh, Bloom HD, that's working fine. Sonify has gone, Squiggle has gone, iDaft has gone, Bubble Harp has gone, Airvox is working, 
mojis and beams they're working absolutely fine and orchestra is lovely that's working all right and tiny piano is working fine the other apps we need working for education book creator yep that's been updated for ios 11 so not a problem there bidsboard pro that's working absolutely fine so and of course puppet pals Yay, phew, they're okay. Keynote pages, all of those are going to work all right. Pigtello is working absolutely fine with iOS 11, and most of these are great. They're no problem at all. Some of my favourite books, Nighty Night is working fine. Classic Poo, thank goodness that's working. Great stuff. Day of the Diesels, can't believe they haven't updated that one. That will be working fine. Circus, that's from the same developers. I'm <laughs> saying, yay, there he goes. That's from the same developers as Nighty Night. Who's on the loo? That's a great book, needs to be updated. Wonky Donkey needs to be updated. Oh boy, look at this. So many of these apps are just not working anymore. So, Elmo is working, the Monster Maker. Thank goodness for that. One of Clive Smith's favourites. The fantastic books of Morris Lesmore. That's working great. My Hungry Caterpillar, that's okay. That's working fine. And in actual fact, there's a new AR version of that one that's come out, which is really tremendous. I don't have too many communication apps on my iPad, but uh, Answers HD is not working. Keezy is one I use for simple communication stuff, which is lovely. That's still working well. Uh, Madpad, can't believe Smule haven't updated that. Seen and Heard is working. Autoverbal, yep, that's working fine. Uh, Photovoker hasn't been updated, which is a shame. Grid Player, of course. Pretty Sign Language, there you go, that's an interesting one. Needs to be updated. So, My Talk Tools, that's been updated, that's okay. And Talking Mats has been updated as well. So what you're looking for here, when you're just, if you want to see what's working and what's not, if you've got something that's running iOS 11, press it. If it hasn't been updated, then it will come up with that. And that's the bad news. It's a shame because vision test is gone. Eyesight test is gone. Siemens hearing test is okay. Uh, uh, hearing check needs to be done. Too loud is gone. Tone generator, it's an interesting one. That's working okay. So there's some apps that are really not going to work. If you have an app that you really use a lot, make sure you check first to see if it needs updating for iOS 11. So there you go. Apps to use and not to use. Whether to update to iOS or not, who knows? Get to our website anyway, hurstwood.com. Lots of amazing courses there. Thanks for watching. Bye.